Hello. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Welcome in, everybody. Good to see you. It is Lazy Shen. Once again, with the Head of the Somnium Files, episode 21, I believe. <laughs> Welcome in. Hopefully, you guys are having a great day so far. It is recording on a nice little Thursday, I believe. So the day before it should be going up. If it doesn't go up on Friday, well, you know, Bob's your uncle, I'm sorry. <laughs> but let us load up uh, save file 3, Monday, uh, Yo Dai at the cold storage warehouse. Last time we left off, we started to investigate a little something or rather in regards to, yeah, the case of the killer who we believe right now to be... Uh, so Sejimo, we, you know, I think the timeline still matches up because, uh, so Sejima was the killer in the other timeline as well, before uh, getting killed by a boss. So, we're going to go ahead, we have three more locations to visit, Matsushita Diamond to talk to probably Okta's mother, Mayumi, uh, as well as the Sejima residence to talk to so Sejima. And then finally back to the Dante residence to speak with, uh, <laughs> Mitsuki. Sorry, I was like, who, who, am I, who am I talking to? Don't remember, but it's been a hot second since we recorded last. Uh, just getting my bearings. I like the, uh, the recap that they give you at the beginning when you, like, reload the game. It gives you, like, a little bit of context as opposed to just being going in blind again. Uh, it's pretty important. Oh, here we go. Um, uh, who might you be? Oh, is this the first time we're seeing Mayumi in this timeline? Wait, hold on. L let me load this up. It's me, Konami Date. We met yesterday. Hold on. It's a little bit loud on this end. I gave you my card. That should be fine. Oh. So, how can I help you? This is the first time of this time that we're meeting uh, Mayumi, huh? Okay, let's uh, talk to the room first and see if there's any jokes. It's it's a little lighthearted today, so maybe there's a couple of jokes, especially with the Mayumi special sauce that never fails. No, no Mayumi special sauce menu. No menu counter, the counter table. Say something, Aiba. This is a. I, I'm feeling a little bit dejected here. Tanzaku paper writing. Here's some poster never fails. I'm feeling thirsty. Nothing. <laughs> they stopped giving me any jokes whatsoever. This timeline is all serious. All uh, no fun only no fun in games, only business. Low table, a uh, Joe fable. No, no, not quite. Window. Lucky cat, he's waving at me. N nothing. <laughs> Bro, I I memorized like every single one of these jokes that they keep repeating and none of them are showing up. It's been a, it must have been a while since we last. Yep. This is pretty old. Gears in the clock on turning. Cool. All right, Mayumi, me and you. About the photo. Oh, this? As Mayumi spoke, she turned the photo towards me. Is it her? This is a family yeah, photo. It's a family photo. photo was still small. It's the one on the counter that's usually sitting there. I wanted to look at it again. <sighs> I'm a horrible mother. I, I don't think so. Trouble for my husband and Oda. I don't think you're a horrible they mother. They helped me so many times. They were always smiling. They were so kind. I remember a gift they gave me one Mother's Day. Okay. They knew how much I liked floral patterns. So you, you got the apron, right? This is for that's from the the birthday or the Mother's Day. So they gave me this apron. Yeah. And a kitchen knife. Oh, I was so happy. I was crying and smiling and... I love Mayumi. She does not deserve... <laughs> at, at least at this point, she does not deserve uh, uh, all the trash. Is from. It's kind of embarrassing, but isn't it such a nice... Moment? Having like a troublemaker son. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's very nice, Mayumi. Why am I so much louder than Mayumi? I will say the one thing that, like, it doesn't piss me off, but I, I wish was a little bit better was the sound balancing. <laughs> like, I'm I'm loud myself, uh, so I can talk over the game, but, like, Dante is, like, super loud, and then everyone else is, like, very quiet. Like, Mitsuki and Mayumi and sometimes Iris are all, like, really, really quiet. 
which is definitely like a, just a sound balancing error, like a mixing error. Which makes, uh, it does make my life difficult per se, but... Talk about the husband. Oh, who knows? Date, I did some research on her husband, Ota's father. At least Aiba's, you know, hearable. His name is Matsushita <laughs> Bro, Takaro. Bro, no way this guy is real. Are you serious? He died of myocardial infarction five years ago. Heart attack. What? What is going on here? He died of a heart attack five years ago? Okay, cool. Dump packing. Packing? What are you talking about? Okay, that's a weird I expression. I thought you came here to pack some of Ota's things for his hospital stay. Ota? At the hospital? She doesn't know? My boy's fine. What do you, you mean? You shouldn't say things like that to a mother. Wait, what? Hold on. Some, something's not right about this. About last night. Last night? What time? Before 10 p.m. Oh, I was already asleep by 10. That's literally not true. Why are you lying to me? I'm a cop. This is this is against the law. You were sleeping? That can't be. You were literally there. Ota. <laughs> it's not like we changed the... Was she left the diner walking? to chase after Ota and Iris. I saw the whole thing with my own left eye. Left eye? Oh, Not yeah. both your eyes? No, when, when I was dead. Uh, well... Anyway, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't go anywhere last night. I mean, that's probably true. Maybe she was sleepwalking. I was asleep. I was dreaming. Dreaming? Yes. A very nostalgic dream. Okay, cool. Tell me about the dream. About the Okudodokuri chocolate man. I tried. I'd like to ask my about the Od Odoriki uh, man chocolate from the warehouse. Do you know anything about this chocolate? Oh, you like Odoroki man? Is it my Yumi in this timeline? Yes, actually. I was hooked on them at one point. Oh, no. My Ota loves them too. When he was younger, he used to collect all the stickers. Uh, he now was I'm the scared. Best at it. <laughs> Now, now I'm scared, guys. Now I'm a little bit frightened. I won't lie to you. This is a little bit of a precarious situation. What kind of dream? It was when my son had just started elementary school. Please absolve yourself. I had Oda run an errand for me. And he was taking so long, and I was waiting. And waiting and waiting? My husband said it was nothing to worry about, but... I couldn't take it anymore and went to look for him. Okay. I found him at a traffic signal, crying. <laughs> he couldn't cross the street. He said he couldn't come home because the signal was still red. But it was one of those crossing signals you have to push. He just waited there for he didn't try anything, huh? <laughs> that boy didn't even notice it. He just stood in front of that red <laughs> I light. I couldn't come home because I couldn't cross the street. So stubborn. Golly. So Stupidly honest. Ah, oh, that's my Oda. He was so cute. He was so cute. It. Past tense. Date. Okay. I noticed something. Can you look at Mayumi with the thermal imaging turned on? Oh, is he? Is she lying? She's 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 lying up a storm right now. Huh? Do you see it? Yeah, I do see it. Part of her brain is blue. That might be due to low blood flow in that part of the brain. Oh, what the hell? Which means... You mean all of her brain is blue. Mayumi has an illness. I have checked her hospital records. For the past six years, Mayumi has been suffering from dementia. Dementia? Okay, Symptoms vary really? Considerably, the whole time? But Mayumi appears to be afflicted by memory loss. She seems to be missing memories. I see. After Ever since her, uh, her husband died, right? So that's where those weird comments are coming from. I see. Can she run a diner like that? Uh, I mean, <laughs> all you gotta do is cook, right? It isn't running. What do you mean? Matsushita Diner has been closed for eight years. Uh, that makes sense, though, because the, the, the calendar is not turned and the, the clock isn't working. Matsushita Diner is near the Kapasaki district. I was gonna say, it's been weird ever it since. It's not technically within the restricted area. Every time that I come over here, like, it's just closed and nobody's here. After the chemical plant explosion, the number of potential customers must have dropped considerably. Oh, she, he must have, it must have been like the stress from not having any business. Before the accident, 
This diner managed quite well due to its proximity to Bloom Park. Patrons from Bloom Park would often eat here, being the cheaper option. Yeah, it's it's probably but very Bloom nice. Bloom Park closed eight years ago. The customers stopped coming, and then naturally. Naturally. Does Naomi not notice that the store is closed? I do not think so. Because of the dementia? Yes. Damn. I can't believe. Damn, that's f that's crazy. Okay, I, I I feel bad for saying some comments now. Well, is that all? Yeah, this I is have all. to start preparing for the dinner shift. Yep, you do. Mayumi stood and went to the kitchen. So she preps all this food for... Dante, let's go. It's better that you leave things be. Yeah, I mean... You're right. You're right. Damn, okay, Mayumi. This turned out to be by far the most depressing visit I've ever had in my life. Not coming back here, by the way. Sejima residence. Let's go. Uh, let's get the hell out of Dodge. I don't want to be here no more. Oh my goodness. Wow, what a what a terrible what an absolutely horrendous discovery in this timeline. How did you get in? I walked through the front door, man. Hopped over the fence. Okay. Did I actually hop That's over the fence? Trespassing, you know. My baseball landed in your backyard. I was just trying to get it back. Yeah, sorry, sorry, dude. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm uh, <laughs> just a normal boy playing baseball by himself, and my ball ended up here. I'm sorry, Sajima. <laughs> so, so, so. Uh, tell me about this rock. Any wait, any kappa in the pond? A pond. Look, Iba, a giant salamander. Ah, it's a salamander today. Mr. Sajima is a wealthy man. Of course, he has a sign on salamander. Perhaps it is his pet. Really. Just a different guy every time? A pond. There are many coin the pond as well as a salamander. Island. Small island. Tree. A tree. Lantern. Hmm? Well, that is strange. What's turned up with the lantern? Why is Reika from the cabaret club over there? <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. She's the lantern. That's a lantern. It doesn't look anything like her. Oh, the, uh, this bit is never going to get old. The topiary. It's a big moss ball. And actually, it's a well manicured tree. Must be into topiary. Is the topiary the one where you like, uh, like, uh, you know, sculpt your trees to look like shit? I did not know it had a name. It's not. A, it's not a big moss ball. It's simply a bush tree. Okay, guard. Do you know Iris Sagan? No. It's this girl. Of course, this random guard bald will know Iris Sagan. Hi, right, Northern Lion. Tell me about it. Cute. <laughs> Cute. What was that? Ah, uh, he's a, a, a fan of Asen, huh? An uh, Asen fan. You just said cute, didn't you? I oh. did not. <laughs> I did not. I did not. I did not you hit her. Did. Did not. Did. I said shoot. Shoot her in the face, obviously. <laughs> I, I love that all the guards are voiced by the the one same guy. Why would you say shoot? Look, I said I don't know her. All right. <laughs> so about So's alibi. Congressman Sajima was at home all Friday and Saturday. Okay. How about from last night until this morning? He was in his bedroom resting. Can you prove that? My word should be enough. It's not enough. It really Isla, isn't. Are there any security cameras in the mansion? There are several, but for some reason, they are all powered off. Because Sajima's the killer right now. There is no image data for the past few days. Really? Uh... That's too suspicious to ignore. We, we, we got you, hook, line, and sinker. I don't know anything. Even if I did, I couldn't tell you. The Kumakuras. I'm sworn to confidentiality. I, we know. Don't worry, we know. Mari right, bodyguard, you're completely useless. So, Sejima, where were you on uh, at 3 a.m. this morning? I was sleeping. Here, sleeping, of course. Yeah, I knew you'd say that, you scum. Why? What happened? What do you mean, what happened? You know what happened. Did you not see the news? No, I've been reading a book. <laughs> Where? You're feeding your salamander. I don't know what happened, but whatever it was, I had nothing to do with it. Oh, right, what book are you reading, huh? You read books, huh? Name, name, name ten books. Name ten books. I don't. Who is that? Show me the picture of Iris I had. This girl. Do you recall seeing her? No, I've never seen her. Okay, they're very straight to the no point. noticeable rise in So's body temperature. Okay, he's just a good liar. Okay. This guy's a politician. Lying is his job. Well, true. 
Yeah, he's just a good liar. The, the, the heat signature shit and the like polygraph stuff, it's all, it's all not in con uh, conclusive evidence. I told you yesterday, my relationship with them is perfectly legitimate. <laughs> hey, Iba. That, that might be true, actually. You we're still in the middle of the story about So selling and buying the Kawasaki land. Oh, we can continue that later. Okay. Are you finished here? I'm just getting started. You won't get anything, no matter what you ask. So Sejima has nothing to do with your case. Nothing to do with my case, huh? It's my job to decide that, not yours. <sighs> okay, I didn't want to get rough. But if okay. I need to, I'll feed you to the koi. You're gonna lose, sir. I'd like to see you try. Date, he's not all tough. What? Check his body. <laughs> his body's at like 7,000 guns. Brass knuckles, a couple guns. That's a piece. This guy is a handgun. It is, of course, real and loaded. Better have the safety on. So you're carrying, huh? What are you talking about? Don't act dumb. I should have you arrested for firearm violation. Got him, idiot. I don't know what you're talking about. The gun you have on you. I don't have a gun. I know that you do. You got a way to prove it? I could search you. Oh, yeah? How? You need a warrant for that. <sighs> okay. Are you finished? If you are done here, I'd like to ask you to leave. Damn. We couldn't get him, huh? We couldn't get him. Date. I don't believe we can accomplish anything further here. Every single time we go to Sejima's place, it's always biting on granite, dude. I'm so peeved at this guy. It's better for us to return to HQ. This is why I hate politicians. <laughs> Me too. Me and you both, buddy. Me and you both. Okay, let's leave. Let's get the fuck out of Dodge. And go talk to Mitsuki. Hello, Mitsuki, the daughter I've been neglecting. I guess I'm not really her father, but... I might as well be since she's been living in my house for the past like six years. That's crazy. Dante residence. All right, sorry, sorry hey, to keep you waiting. Oh, you should take a break. Uh, what I call her Mitsuki? Mizuki. I want to ask you something. Who the fuck is Mitsuki? <laughs> Who the hell is that? Mizuki. Okay. Talk about uh, tense. Okay, nothing in the room. Oh, because it's my house. I was like, oh, okay. But not even like talk about the audio file system. That's crazy. Okay, Mi Mizuki. About the fishery. Okay, no comment. You're mad, aren't you? Yeah, she's mad. She's lifting weights. You know she's mad. Can somebody who like, you know, professionally, you know, like weight lifts, like tell me if her form is good? Because it, it might be good, it might be bad, and I don't know. Where's the, the office who dropped you off? The officer. She's mad at me still for ditching her. At Marble. But Ota and Iris. Okay, this is getting nowhere, Mizuki. Can I, can I bribe you with food? Are you like a, a food bribable kid? Uh, I'm sorry, Mizuki. Listen, I get it. I'm really sorry, Mizuki. Yesterday, I went to meet up with the Yakuza gang. The Kumakuras. Remember, Mama said Renju had some connection with that, so I went to question them. Okay. But of course, I couldn't take a little girl with me. You understand, right? It's, it's, it's a bad look, regardless. It's, it's just a bad look, you know? I know you can handle yourself, but it's... I'm it's, not afraid of any Yakuza's. I, we know, but it's it's a bad look for society, okay? You, you gotta understand. I'd make their hearts stop beating in three seconds. Girls shouldn't talk like that. That's awfully sexist of you. <laughs> Allow, allow her. She's, she's, she's a growing girl, you know? This is why no one thinks you're attractive. I'm attractive? Uh-huh, keep telling yourself that. Dude, I pulled, I pulled the Hitomi. That's why you haven't had a girlfriend in four years. He had a girlfriend before that? Who was it? It better not be Lamppost. My girlfriend is a ninja. No, she's just hiding in the shadows. Sure. Love that plot for the B plot for the fucking anime. So what do you want to ask me anyway? Okay, Mizuki, let's talk. Where's the officer that dropped you off? Where's the officer who dropped you off? She's wearing shoes? She's not wearing any shoes. I guess it's her house. It's her house. Never mind. I told her to go home. She looks weird. She looks like a, like a locked character. <laughs> she looks like a locked character in a fighting game. I said I would call her to check in. Okay. Why are you disappointed? Did you want to meet her? It's not like that. You wanted to see her boobs? I, how did you know that? 
I thought you were more into small boobs, pervert. I like big boobs, too. I like big boobs, and I cannot lie. I suppose you are what they call a tit man. I wish, I wish Dante was an ass man. Because you know what they say about ass men? Is that there's no such thing as a bad ass man. But Okira Fishery. Okira Fishery is a company Grandpa made. Yeah. I don't think Daddy had anything to do with it, though. That's true. Grandpa died 17 years ago. Someone else is running that company now. They aren't family. Oh, she knows all about it. That's perfect. What kind of person was your grandpa? I never met him. He died before I was born. Damn, that's crazy. But Daddy did tell me stories. What kind of stories? This is a weird read coming from you. Back when Grandpa was in Great Grandma's tummy, she was on a passenger ship that got shipwrecked in a storm. She's a JoJo's? <laughs> She's a JoJo's character. Oh my god, her great-grandfather, her great-grandfather is Jonathan Joestar? She had to have the baby out on the ocean. On the ocean? Yup, and then Grandpa was raised by dolphins. Okay, cool, huh? By the time he was 10, he was catching fish with his bare hands. And then he started Okiara Fishery, because he loves, he's a dolphin. And then Grandpa got up on land and learned language and culture and stuff. <laughs> He's like a caveman. And then he decided to start up Okiura Fishery. <laughs> That's amazing. I, I, for, for somebody who, you know, has such a deep-rooted, uh, you know, uh, attachment to the sea, you would think that your, your, your son would take up the family business and become the owner of Okiura Fishery. Come on, Renju, step it up. Sounds like a tall tale. Yeah, Grandpa was a legend. Uh, I bet. All the fishermen and sailors respected him. I love Mizuki. This, that can't be true. <laughs> but there's a part of me that's thinking maybe. After all, Mizuki herself seems superhuman. Honestly, Mizuki, yeah, Mizuki has like crazy. It's not muscle mass, is it? It's like she doesn't have muscles even. Like, there's not enough like space in her arms for to fit any muscles. She's just like superhuman. Like a cyborg. About O2 and Iris. I saw the video. The one at 3 a.m. last night. You shouldn't have seen that. <laughs> Ota is amazing. I'm changing my mind about that guy. <laughs> Iris and Ota came out of it okay. They'll both live. Really? Yeah, yeah. of course. Fuck. Date, you gotta stop saying the thing that I say. <sighs> Thank God. Okay, cool. Now let's say goodbye. See ya. Thanks for talking with me, Mizuki. It was helpful. Was it? I have to continue the investigation, so... Wait, you're leaving me again? Okay, you can come. Just chill. I'm coming with you! No. Why? I can't involve you. This might be dangerous. It's okay, I'm strong. That's you true. You know how strong I am, right? Physically, yes. How, how much is it? This 30, 50, 25 uh, kilogram dumbbell plate? I can't even read the number. It's like... There's like five numbers <laughs> stacked up on top of each other. You were the one who knew how special I was before anyone. It was one year ago. I noticed something strange when Mizuki came home from school. Hey, what happened? Oh my god. She, you know what? Mizuki really cleaned up her style in one year. Who did this to you? Some kids at school. Five or six of them. They said I was a weirdo because I don't live with my mom and daddy. Hmm. And they teased me. <laughs> so I killed them. And I got mad and I told them to go away and they hit me. Tell me their names. I'll teach the little punks a lesson. Date, wait. Adult <laughs> intervention will not solve this problem. Mizuki has to deal with this problem herself. Mizuki, come on. It's time to train. Oh, I started her training arc. What? I'm going to teach you how to kick their asses. We're starting right now. Get ready. I love, I love them. Man. What a great, what a great, you know, character dynamic. Why the shrine? Oh my god, she's a karate kid. The shrine is the perfect place for special training. It is? You feel better when you train in quiet, serene places like... Sure, whatever. Okay. First, I'm going to teach you four secrets to becoming stronger. Oh no, she, he's, he's going into samurai mode. Follow these four rules. And you will acquire power beyond your wildest dreams. Date, are you playing a character or something? I'm not Date. While we're in training, I am Master. master. <laughs> okay, Mizuki. A training dummy. Okay, there's more. Okay, we 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 gotta talk to the room here because 
There's no other chance to talk to the room than in this past. A tree. Oh, is there nothing for my my fruits of my labor? My the spoils of war shrine. It's rather solemn. Guardian dog. Really, there's nothing. Prefer interns. <laughs> Lantern? I prefer intern. Monument. What does it say? When riding an elevator, mashing the door close button doesn't actually do anything. That's true. That's what it says. You're lying. Well, Aren't oh, you? You, you can't read it? It's Japanese, no? Hey, Date, what's that? It's the Chozuya. You wash your hands there. It's a Chozuya. This is where you wash your belly button in the sacred water before you visit the shrine. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, lo I love Date. Belly button? Yes, absolutely. In Shinto, the belly button is said to be the dirtiest place. What? It, it auto snapped back to you. That's why, before praying, you have to cleanse yourself. I see. My belly is holy. It's, yeah, exactly. I didn't mean for that to rhyme. It, it didn't rhyme. Don't worry. The key to victory is to kill the heart. Like, when you get into a fight, aim for the heart? No, it's the opposite. You uh. must kill your own heart, Mizuki. What do you mean? If you are going to fight, you must suppress any mercy or emotional attachment. We turn off our inhibitors. If you have That's even crazy. a mode of sympathy within you, it will be impossible to fight to your potential. Do not think of your opponent as a man. Think of them as a target. A punching bag or a board. Nothing more. Not human. Just a punching bag. Huh. Okay, cool. Mental preparation is important. In a fight, you must first be victorious in your mind. Like thinking I'm not gonna lose? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I love this. I do the same mental preparation before going to a strip club. <laughs> to meet with uh, the lantern. Before I go in, if I tell myself that they're all out of my league, then they will be. But because I'm within, they are, uh, whatever. The mental fight has begun the moment I put my hand on the door. Yeah, I see. Don't teach this kid about strip clubs. She's like 12. Actually, no, that's stupid. Okay, your everyday life is of dire importance. What? Why? The best Why? training you could ever have is to be mindful during your everyday life. Honestly, this is probably the most normal thing you've said so far, Date. Diet and exercise form a strong body. And if you are always maturing intellectually and emotionally, you will always be able to anticipate your enemy's first move. Not necessarily true. I get it. But you're so messy. Does that mean you can't fight? It's true. Hark. The blowing of the wind through the trees. <laughs> you can't just say oh, something God. cool to avoid my question. This is amazing. Being quick to, is, uh, to act is crucial. Mizuki, do you know how to win any fight against any opponent? Hit him first and hit um, him hard. Don't get in a fight in the first place? No, no, no. That's not fighting. That's not winning. That's just avoiding a fight. That is a respectable answer. But no, the way to win any fight is this. Hit them first, and hit them hard enough to finish them. Is that not what I said? That's crazy. I kinda get it, but- Of course, I'm not saying that's how you should behave. But thinking about this will make a big difference in a real fight. Exactly. Yeah, okay, I get it, but... Seriously, Date, are you like acting or something? No, this is me. I'm not, I'm not Date. I'm master. Not Date, Master. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I'm in good spirits today, huh? Anyway, practice these four truths and you will get stronger. This sounds like a scam. Believe in me. If you do as I say, you'll be thanking me in time. So she's not very thankful still. Maybe she's just in her rebellious teenage face. Are you sure? Right, how about we do a baseline test? Show me what you've got. Huh? Well, let's see. How about you throw a punch? I can guess your strength from that. If you say so, I'll give it a shot. Punches me and kills me. First, close your eyes and concentrate. Like this? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> then, punch forward! The air. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Huh? What is this face? What is that? That's horrifying. 
How is that? Um... You don't have to be nice. I know I'm weak. What? I was hey, like... Hey, by the way, did you swing back at those bullies? No, I didn't do anything. I'm glad you might have killed them. There were a bunch of them. I didn't think I could. I see. She doesn't know her own strength. I suppose not. Mizuki, let's just say I think you should be more confident in yourself. Really? But never ever strike your master. That is a must. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you might be dead. Yeah, you're right. In fact, you're so strong you scare me sometimes. Well then? No, I can't take you with me. Why not? Because I took responsibility for you. I promised Renju. I can't put you in danger. She, I love the, the one timeline where we just like took her out and she went melee range against a bunch of people with guns, like AK-47s. And then she just stood there standing still and didn't get shot once. That's not fair. Bringing up daddy. Iris and Ota feel the same way. They don't want you hurt either. Okay, easy clap. Get him. Get him, Mizuki. Get him, Dante. Kill Mizuki's pride with your... You have to understand, Mizuki. If I need your help, I'll let you know. When the time comes. Really? Yes. Promise? No. <laughs> I promise. Let's go, Iva. Where to? Where are we going? I have no idea. Oh, we're getting back to base. I see. Uh, that was fruitful. Getting a little bit to uh, know more about Mizuki this timeline. Which is nice. Before we reach HQ, let's summarize our investigation so far. Okay, me and you, Iva. Dashboard joke. Ja dashboard joke. Dashboard joke. Dashboard. Here we go. These are tasty when they're yes. golden brown. Hash brown. I believe you're referring to hash browns. <laughs> yeah. The dashboard. Dude, whoever translated this really is, is a psycho. The steering wheel. The wearing steel. Alright, Iba. Me and you. How about so? There is only circumstantial evidence linking So Sejima to the new Cyclops serial killings. I agree. But there has to be more to it. The Kumakuras had connections to both victims. Mm hmm. That's true. So has a connection to the Kumakuras. That's a, but it's completely legitimate. There's a common link there. They have to be involved somehow. So also might have connections to Iris. Might be true as well. Because So appeared in Iris's but, Somnia? But why is why is So Sejima have tits? Well, how come no one is talking about this? We had we had me and Iba in the dream, and we had we had Pewter and Boss watching over us the whole time, and they saw this. How come no one is talking about us? So Sejima had like fat titties. Yeah. Am I the only one who cares? N like nobody else in this world cares about. Okay, never mind. I am more interested in the hired guns that So uses as bodyguards. I did some research and discovered that Mr. Sejima hires substantial security. If all of his security staff are this heavily armed, Yakuza gangs pale in comparison. It's just a, a side piece. I, I guess in J so Japan, like, you know, trouble? Like you can't have guns in the first place, so having a gun already is like crazy. Unknown, but there is definitely more than he is letting on. Okay, cool. About Mayumi. Dementia patient. Mayumi is suffering from dementia. If Mayumi followed Ota and Iris, it is highly likely that she saw the person in the polar bear costume. Yeah, I agree. But... She won't remember it. But we can, we can bring her into Somnium. Mayumi Somnium! She might not remember. Correct. I'm exhausted. Likely because you haven't had a good night's sleep. Well, yeah, well, who had time to sleep? I literally was at the Okia Fishery at 4 a.m. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been this busy. If my body were made of flesh, I would offer my lap as a pillow. Thank you, Iba. I love you. <laughs> yeah. What? You can't say something like that out of the blue. Huh, now it's awkward. Oh, Iba. But Mizuki. Mizuki did not have any new information about Okiura Fishery. Currently, it seems there is nothing linking that company to Renju. No, uh, like nothing at all. <sighs> It's just, it just like a place to kill people. Still, something's not right. Yeah, any other information? 
There is an important piece of news. What is it? The Odoroki Man chocolate found at the warehouse. Yeah, dude, that is the ultimate clue. Fingerprints were found on it. Whose? Mayumi Matsushita's. Yeah, she was there. What? Mayumi I knew she bought was there. the chocolate at the convenience store 812 on Koshu. This was captured on security footage. Is Mayumi the current killer? 812 stores are commonly called eights. Eight is not far from the Famisto where Ota stole the station wagon. 812's the 7-Eleven. Hold on a second. Wait, what? I'm having trouble keeping the facts straight. Mayumi Allow was there. Mayumi was there. Please. The yeah. chocolate was purchased yesterday at 10.33 p.m. That's the same time Ota stole that car. Correct. What conclusions can we draw from that? Unknown. All that is known for certain is that Mayumi bought the chocolate at an 8 store last night, and that same chocolate somehow ended up in the warehouse. Did she go there and drop it? It is possible. She went there to drop it off? Why did she do that? Well... So we're, br we're, we're bringing Mayumi in for a Somnium, right? Say some stuff right now. Say it, it's true. Sorry to interrupt your brainstorming, but there's a call from the boss. Connect me. Ah, oh, shit. Date, did you hear that Iris's operation is over? Mm, I didn't, actually. Yeah, I heard about it at the hospital. Oh, I, I guess I did. She made it, right? Yes, but she's still unconscious. She's currently in the ICU. No visitors allowed. Are we able to get her into something again? All right. Ota, however, seems like he can talk now. He's out of treatment? Yeah, he's in a general ward now. Within who? So, so, wait, hold on. Does that mean Sosajima is in Iris' body? Got it. I'll head over. Who's in Iris' body there. right now? Because she went through... She went through... Oh, please wake up, Iris. We need your information so bad. We need your info so bad, it's... It's ridiculous. How are right, you Ota. feeling, Ota? You know, surprisingly, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm still under anesthesia, so I don't have any pain. <laughs> David at the dentist? All right, that's good. Ota, I'm sorry to put this on you right after your surgery, but can you talk to us for a minute? Hmm, <laughs> talk to us, please. Boss got right to business after introducing herself. I don't know why, but Ota seems almost happy to answer. Maybe it was the drugs, maybe it was the high from surviving a life or death situation. Maybe it was because he saved Iris. Yeah, sure. <laughs> He's really weird right now. TV hey, and LCD Date. TV. Hey, when are you planning on leaving? He wants to watch anime. The good stuff is gonna come on soon. You're not watching that tonight. The good stuff, the porn. Is bedside it a bedside table. table when you move it away from the bed? Uh, it still might be. I suppose then it's just a table. Not true, actually. Bedside table. Okay, here. Uh, nothing here, nothing here. Patient monitor. Used to monitor vital signs. Measures heart rate, blood pressure, and body temperature in the monitor. Cool, okay, bedge. A bedge. Hey, Date, I don't think I can sleep by myself tonight. Okay, who, who asked? Will you sleep with me? What? Why me? Oh, then that old woman over there is fine. Old woman? <laughs> Her face. Her face. Okay, what about the walk? Oh, yeah. You hit me over the head with that walk, didn't you? Yeah, you better say something. Oh, uh, that was... I thought I needed to protect Tessa, so... Isn't there something you want to say to me? Okay. Yeah, you better say sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's you okay. better be. But you're not going to get a second chance. I won't do it again. I swear on Ganesha. On Ganesha? Why Ganesha? You should swear to a god that's a little closer, kid. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's like a, you know, halfway across the globe. Uh, did you hear about- I wait, hold on. <laughs> Anything else in the room? Window. A uh, window. Boss. Why did you come here? I'm kind of interested in Ota. Are you? Why are in you interested? Me? You protected the woman you love. That's not easy to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I understand you. I, I'm playing bad cop. You're playing flattery. You know, you're playing good cop. And then he, Ota will just give you all the info. I wanted to meet the brave little hero. Yep. Hero? Little? I'm 24. You're 24? What? 
To me, you're still little. Yeah, a boss is like 70. Anything you want to ask to Ota? I'll leave this to you, Date. Oh, really? Okay, fine. Did you find any new clues? If I did, I would have told you already. Okay, Jesus, boss. Boss is saying a little bit rudely today. You're, you're being a little uptight with me, boss. I don't like that about you. I bet. Do you, do you hear about Iris? Her surgery was successful, right? It was. Yeah, huh? thanks to you. If you weren't there, Iris would have been in real trouble. <laughs> like the other time. I'm Tessa's biggest fan. Any fan would have done what I did. It's nothing special. It's as normal as garlic and ramen. That's so cool. I think that depends on preference. Not Honestly, everyone likes garlic. I'm a little bit scared of my new power. When I locked eyes with that polar bear, I saw him start shaking. He saw how strong I was and got scared. No doubt. I don't think so. Ota's body temperature is rising. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's embellishing his story quite a bit. I think we can let that go today. Yeah, I you're right. Okay, next next point of business. Who stabbed you? Were you watching the stream? I was. A big polar bear. Well, I couldn't see it. It was not on the camera. Yes, I'm talking about who was inside. Did you see them? No. Whoever it was was probably wearing that costume to hide their identity. <laughs> so Sejima. Wait, so, so at what point? Okay. At what point did he manage to do the the Somnium, the... the the sync machine stuff with Iris. You know? Between between him, between Ota and Iris getting to the place, and, you know, from there, how, like, you know what I mean? Like, what time, what's the timeline? How did they manage to do the Somnium, the, the sync machine, without Ota figuring it out? Maybe they knocked him out? And then he woke up in the middle of the stream? That's... What is the thing? Yeah, you gotta tell me. <sighs> Sorry. I promised that I wouldn't tell anyone. Well, this is important. We could literally be in a life or death situation. Then I'll tell Iris about your fake accounts. You know what happens after that, right? Everything you built up here is gonna come crashing down. <sighs> you gotta tell but me. But I can't tell you. Why not? Calm down and think about it. The criminal who attacked Iris is still out there. I agree. Iris might have seen the criminal's face. Whoever did this... Might come back to kill her. Exactly. Oh. At the hospital. If you want to protect her, the fastest way is for us to catch this guy. But to do that, I need information. Okay. Okay, here we go. About the thing. Remember when I told you about my day Saturday? I kind of lied a little. Saturday? Is it the day you went to get your phone? What did you lie about? When I got to Sunfish Pocket... I saw a sign that said the place was all rented out. Oh, that's right, yes. That part is true. But after that, I said I went home, but I didn't. He stayed there. I was hanging out in Akihabara for a few hours. Is that when you bought your new phone? Yeah. Why did you hide that? Because something happened oh, after. This is, this is big. This is big. How about the order of chocolate first, though? Okay, I took the chocolate out of my pocket and showed it to Oda. Does this jog your memory? Oh, that. What? Do you know something about it? Oh, shit. You don't have to show me the thermograph. It's written all over his face. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. What happened after you left Matsushita Diner? You mean after... hitting you with the walk? Yes, I mean after hitting me with the walk, asshole. Yes. I took Tessa in the van and we ran away. I drove for a while, then we decided to take a breather. I parked the car at Femisto on Koshu. Okay. I told Tessa I was going to go in and buy something to drink. I got out of the car, and I went inside. But then, I heard Tessa screaming. I see. And so th they they first stopped at, um... They first, they first stopped at the sink machine after they hijacked the car. And then he... Called up his mom, and then his mom picked him up at, uh, at the 8? Ota, help! I ran out of the store as fast as I could, but the car was driving away! I looked around, and I saw there was a car with its engine still on, and... The station wagon, right? That he yeah. stole. Before I even realized what I was doing, I was behind the steering wheel. I didn't mean to steal it. 
I just needed to borrow it. The time was 10.33 p.m. Now we know why Ota stole the station wagon. Yeah, you got, you got gypped. And between that time... So it still doesn't matter. After stealing the station wagon, you followed the car, right? I took the car, then drove out onto Koshu, but I couldn't find the van anywhere. I searched for what felt like hours. You didn't contact the police. I thought, after I hit you... You shouldn't have worried about that. But I agree. That's all that I was thinking at the time. I thought that if I called the cops, they'd arrest me. I mean, that's fair. I wasn't thinking clearly. I was panicking. Obviously. And that's why I didn't realize it right away. Realize what? My phone. I left my new phone in the car. Why is that so important? Because the phone had GPS on it. If I looked it up, I would find the location of the van. Nice. Smart. So I drove as fast as I could to an internet cafe and looked it up. And by that time, uh, they'd already swapped. That's when I found out my new phone was at a warehouse near the water. You know the rest. I see. So, about that thing. This must have been about 8.50. I was going to cross the intersection in Akiba, and I saw Mr. Okiura's car at the light. Uh, uh, okay, but it was Iris inside, right? But when I got close, I saw Tessa driving it. Iris was driving it? Yeah. Exactly. Whoa! You surprised me! I'm more surprised than you are! Is something wrong? What do you mean? Hey, Tessa, do you have a license? <laughs> Is she like 16? Oh, yeah, of course I do. Not have one. You don't have a license? Shh! Mr. Okiura asked me to run an errand. I had to borrow his car. I Please see. don't tell anyone. Okay. You promise? Anything for you. I see. I see. After that, the light turned green and she drove off. Was Iris the only one in the car? Yeah, it was just her. And a barrel in the back seat. That's what I meant by that thing. And I idle see. driving without a license is a huge deal. So I kept quiet. Uh, okay. I see. About that thing. Keep going, keep going. Saturday at 6.15 p.m., Ota saw Iris and Renju together. They were leaving the Sunfish Pocket Building. Mm -hmm. Two and a half hours later. That's when they did the, the swap, okay? So that's when Renju the, as the killer became Iris the killer. Ota witnessed Iris driving Renju's car. What are your thoughts? This is sounding really bad for Iris. That's the only way, but right? But consider the current circumstances. Iris had her left eye taken out by a criminal who is possibly the new Cyclops killer. Okay. And if Ota had not reached her in time, she would have been killed. And that's why she, they need to die right after. Otherwise, like, the, the other person is in their body, right? So it's like, at the point in time where Renju is dead... Um, like, that's... Oh, I see. What is going on here? So, so, okay, so when Renju was alive, he was already the killer, right? He jumped from Shoko's body to Renju's body and then killed Shoko because Shoko, uh, Renju was in Shoko's body. And then when he swapped to Iris, he needed to kill Renju because Iris was in Renju's body. Either way, you have to kill your previous jump, otherwise, like, they'll, they'll spill, right? They'll be like, I'm not, I'm not fucking, you know, Renju, I'm fucking Iris. After running into the warehouse. Did you see me turn off the saw? I did. Yeah, but everything after that was off screen. What happened? I honestly don't remember much. My mind went blank. I remember rushing the bear, and I think I was fighting him for a while. Th th that's honestly impressive. And we got tangled up, and then before I knew it, he got me in the stomach with a knife. Okay, about the identity of the whole polar bear. Just to make absolutely certain, you didn't see who was in the suit? No, I didn't. Voice? Body type? Nothing. Sorry. Anything at all you can remember? Just give me something, boy. I'm sorry, I told you everything. I can't yeah. think of anything else. Are you sure? Yes. Is this his lying face? Date, look. Oh, it's come his, on. It's his lying face. After all this, what is he trying to hide? Please, you gotta tell me. Date, Ota is acting strange. You gotta tell me. I advise caution. What do you mean? X-ray. 
He's got a knife I in his- I don't believe it. He's got a- He's got a knife in his thing. He's holding a knife. Why does he have that? In any case, you know what you have to do now. I know. Okay, knock him out. Knock him the fuck out. <clears throat> Let me go! Let me go! What the hell do you think you're doing? Shut up! Oh, God. Uh, just let me go! Hit him with the fuck chloroform. Sleeping gas. Now you've done it. I can't question him like this. Exactly. But you can still get information. Let's go. We're gonna Inside illegally uh, illegally owe to insomnia. That's perfect. Okay. We got Oda's Somnium ready in the back seat. Let's go, dude. Time to get to the end of this. Doctor, as you know, the limit is six minutes. Please do not go over it. I know. You tell me this every time. Won't be a problem. But are you sure this is okay? Ota just came out of surgery. If anything happens, I'll take responsibility. But... Thanks, boss. It's fine. Just get it done. I mean, I, I think I think Peter is just me. as, yep, Peter is just as keen to do it as anybody. If you say it's for Renji, you'll do it, right? He's lovesick. He's struck in the head. We gotta get inside of Ota's headpiece and figure out what he did that day. Oh, we need to know. We need to know. I'm in a box. Ooh, cute. Cute box moment. You good? Can you please take me with you? <laughs> you know, re okay. You, you, before anything else, we're gonna save into slot four. We're gonna save into slot four here because that is actually right before we finish the Somnium or do the Somnium. That's what we're gonna call for today, guys. <laughs> Right at the cliffhanger, so you're you're gung ho to watch the next one. That's what we're gonna you know call it for today. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Uh, very very exciting episode. Honestly, like uh, getting a lot of information, and I, I just want to see if my theory is correct because that's really the only possible way is like some like sci-fi shenanigans, because otherwise it doesn't make no sense, right? But, uh, yeah, maybe we'll, perhaps we'll figure it out this at the end of this, uh, this route on the green line, I believe. Uh, otherwise, that's gonna be it for me for today. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. And, yeah, comment what you liked and didn't like, uh, answer my questions if you, uh, do, uh, you know, care to. And that's about it. But yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed your rest of your day. Uh, nothing else to say except for, uh, drink some water. Eat some butter, and I will see you guys on the flip side, okay? Peace, peace, peace. Late.